The Musso, 4x4 Rhino style. The new Musso from San Young. That's right, this has been reinvented from the 1990s for 2019. And it is a very, very capable pickup. Musso in Korean means Rhino, and I have to say, it's got stamina. There are four in the range. You've got the EX, you've got the Rebel, the Saracen, which is the one we have here, and the limited edition, and I mean limited edition with only a hundred are made, the Rhino. So there's the Rhino Rhino. This is powered by a 2.2 turbo diesel engine and it's coupled to an ASIN six-speed automatic. Giving you 400 newton meters of torque. It does, and the interesting thing about it is it's the same platform, same running gear, same engine as the Rexton. Which means you get a pickup with all the capabilities and all the tech of an SUV. And the refinement and driving experience too. And there's plenty of that. There is. Combine that with the fact that you can tow up to three and a half tonnes as well as having up to a tonne on the payload bed and the fact you've got a seven year warranty. This is a real contender in the pickup market. Especially when you consider that price. The range starts at just under £27,000, including VAT. This model is the Saracen. It costs just over £33,500. But you do get refined for that money. You get a driver and passenger electric seat. You even get heated seats in the rear as well as the front. And just look at that exterior, Ben. It really does pop. For a 4x4, it's fantastic. It is. Saying that, I will be looking at the exterior and the styling. I'll be looking at the interior, the practicality, the functionality and the build quality. Then we'll both be driving it and I will bring you the verdict on whether or not this is the pickup for you. You'll also see what we get up to as far as towing goes, because we towed back our classic Mercedes on a car trailer all the way from the Midlands to Autosport. We even met up with Joseph Lloyd of Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. If you like the latest car reviews, automotive news, why not subscribe to the channel? Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be updated every time we upload some new content. Thank you. The first thing you notice when you step in front of the Musso is the signature San Young grill. Built on the Rexton platform, it's the pickup version of that SUV. You've got this rugged off-road look. Just look at this chunky valance. It's very capable, it's tough, it's exactly what the name suggests. It's a Rhino. When it comes to tech on this car, you have LED daytime running lights, projection headlamps, and rain sensing wipers. You also have front fogs. There are no parking sensors, but it does come with active emergency braking and forward collision detection. Apologies for the wind, everybody. As you can see, it's as playful and as vibrant as my hair. Now, when you come to the side of the Musso, well, for a start, I'm impressed with just how big a beast this is. It's colossal. I mean, I'm five foot three, but my face is on par with the door mirror. It's huge and with good reason. You've got 18 inch alloy wheels. You've got great black plastic cladding around the wheel arch, which runs down the side. You've got electrically operated power folding door mirrors that are heated. The doors cover the sills, which means no more muddy trousers. For me, one of the greatest benefits is I would not be able to get in and out of this beast without it. The chrome strip at the bottom of the windows gives it an executive feel. However, it also matches the off-road look that you get with the door mirror and the side step. You also have chrome inserts on the door handles and it highlights the fact that this is a full cab. I can just about point at the roof rails because they're too high above. And I do love this hard top cab at the back, giving you much more protection for when you're carrying items. It's got all round disc brakes, which are vented at the front. One of my favorite features is the livery. You've got the four x four badge that complements the Saracen livery. When you come to the back, you're reminded that it's a Musso from San Young. You're reminded it's four wheel drive. You've got your tow bar here. With the rest of the Musso, you can see there's lots of chrome, which you can see here at the back with the uh, quarter bumpers and around the rear lenses. We've even got a high level brake light in the spoiler above. The Saracen Musso also comes with a reversing camera. The San Young Musso stands quite high off the ground. Let's see how easy it is to get in. Nice wide opening doors, big doorway. Remember, if you're my height, to duck down when you climb in. This is a great addition, just helps you getting in. Looks cool too. I've also got a grab handle too. 
as soon as you step into the Muso, honestly, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is an SUV. Leather wrapped steering wheel, soft touch on the dash, funky styling, lots of premium materials, and just extremely well finished. Leather seats, both being electric. I mean, yeah, okay, hard plastics on top of the doors, but it's supposed to be a workhorse. But San Yong have put a lot of refinement in here. When it comes to tech, you've got all around electric windows, power folding door mirrors, electrically adjusted, and they're heated too. On the right hand side, I've got descent control. To the left of that, you've got an adjuster for your headlamp height. Perfect for towing. When it comes to the cluster, rev counter on the left, speedo on the right, fuel computer in the middle. It's also got an instant economy, so you can see how much fuel you're drinking if you're towing. Saying that, I was getting 26 to the gallon whilst towing a Mercedes on a car trailer. That's, I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. Generally, around, I think I was getting about 35. You've got automatic lights, you've got rain sensing wipers. When it comes to the steering wheel, it's heated. You've also got your telephony controls here and your media controls. And on the right hand side, yes, this pickup has cruise control. Perfect for towing. I utilize that a lot on the M6. And you've got a start engine stop button here. Moving to the center, decent sized infotainment screen, shortcut buttons down here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB radio, and navigation. One central knob for volume, and one thing to note, the sound system in here, in Annabelle's words, is banging. Under that, you've got air conditioning, heated windscreen, hazards, and other shortcut buttons. Very simple, two chrome knobs. Under that, well, this is where the magic happens. Heated seats, but they're also ventilated, so they chill the seat as well, amazing. And one thing in here that I've not seen for many years, I don't, the last car I saw it in was a Rolls Royce Dawn. Cigar lighter. USB, auxiliary, and 12 volt socket as well. And that brings us to the six speed ASIN gearbox. This has W, E, and P modes too. You've got a little button here next to the gearbox. You have eco, winter, and power. Park, rear, neutral, drive. And you've got a manual mode as well, if you knock it left. Behind that, this is where you operate your 4x4 controls. Two high, four high, and four low. When it comes to practicality, I'm six foot three. As you can see, I've got ample headroom. The seat's very comfortable. Finished in a premium material. It's perforated, sporty stitching, and supports you extremely well. This is electric, as is that. You also have electronic lumbar support. Steering wheel, you have reach and rake adjustment. I've also got a very comfortable driving position as well. Nice leather wrapped armrest and leather wrapped and padded armrest on the door as well. That gives me the perfect driving position. I've also got a footrest on the left hand side as well. Storage wise, well it's a pickup, so everything's colossal. And this is no different. Like this tray on the dash here. And look, you can store your sunglasses too. You could literally get a one litre bottle in the front of this and then another 500 mil behind it and then quarter of your lunch in here you'll fit your phone sunglasses whatever two cup holders here and open up the little cubby and it's not really a little cubby you'll get some well you get your whole lunch box in there when it comes to glove box look it locks perfect nice soft opening and decent size as well Let's see how easy it is to get into the back. Nice wide opening door, and you've got a step as well. Nice and easy. And a grab handle here, and additional handle here. And not too far to lean out to get the door. Once in here, it's very comfortable, finished the same way as the front, and look, about the same amount of room for my head as in the front and I'm six foot three so you know that's good there are hard plastics in here but it's a pickup makes perfect sense you do have a little padded armrest on the door 
electric window, and you've got heated seats in the back as well. Now the legroom in here is award-winning, and I can believe it. Look, seat set up for me at six foot three, and I've got knee room, and I've got room to put my feet under the seat as well. Also, this area is quite wide, so great. I've also noticed that this rear bench is on a slightly less steep angle than other pickups, or it certainly feels like it anyway. It's nicely padded, it's very comfortable. As for carrying passengers, well, two people on a long journey, very comfortable. You've even got an armrest as well with cup holders in. Three people on shorter journeys and three children, no problem whatsoever. There's also Isofix points as well and airbags around the vehicle. Grab handle above each door and a central rear light as well. And don't forget map pockets on the back of the seats and a vent for each rear passenger. There's also storage under the seats, behind the seats, and you've got a door pocket as well. Stepping round to the rear of the Muso, you unlock it using the button on the fob. Now if you've got a top on like us, you need to release that first, and then you can drop the tailgate. It isn't soft opening, but it's not too heavy either. Perfect. Robust inner liner as you can see. There's also pop-out rear windows, so if you're carrying cattle or anything like that. Everything is well built, it's solid. You can carry a Euro pallet in the back of there, and a one-ton payload. You've also got four tethering points. There's also a full-size alloy wheel under there, exactly the same style as all the others. We've tested this for everything. We've had a lawnmower in the back, we had 12 bags of gravel in here. We've even towed a Mercedes with it. It is extremely capable and you can rest on here as well. Welcome to the San Yong Muso. Now this driving section is going to be a bit different because as you'll notice we have a car trailer on the back. So you're going to get a section of towing with a car trailer with no car then a section with towing with a car trailer with our classic Mercedes and with no trailer at all. So we can give you an insight into how the vehicle is. In all states. Exactly. The Muso is powered by a 2.2 turbo diesel four cylinder engine and it's coupled to a six speed automatic gearbox. It also has part time four wheel drive got descent control down here as well. I think it's running about 170 brake as well, so it's not particularly slow. And what we've noticed of it, even when towing a trailer, it doesn't seem to be whacking diesel as fast as we thought it would be. The six-speed auto does exactly what it says on the tin. And one thing we've noticed is, even with the trailer or without the trailer, the gear changes are seamless. You will notice a bit of a noise change, but that's to be expected. It's a good old 2.2 diesel. But even for diesel, it's not loud at all, is it? No, it's I very... keep forgetting that it is one. Well, it's very refined in the cabin, isn't it? Exceptionally so. Very little vibration as well. It's very well insulated. Yeah. My biggest wonder was how a six-speed would cope, especially when towing. But it seems to be perfectly fine. I wondered if it needed one or two gears more. But every change is seamless and you can even kick down and the power is readily available. You can get up to motorway speeds very easily as well, even with a trailer. Steering wise, weight ends up very nicely while travelling at speed. Lower down, it is well, it's quite light, which makes it very easy to manoeuvre. Another thing about towing with the trailer is, especially in winds like this, they're not the most fierce, but there's no sway whatsoever. It feels very, very under control. Speaking as a passenger, it's very, very comfortable. You've got a great seating position. You're high up, so you've got great visibility as well. But as we have the Saracen, it comes with cruise control. It does, which is 
is a must, isn't it, for doing this kind of thing? Uh, yeah, for this kind of distance and this kind of journey, it's essential. Selecting four-wheel drive is very easy. You've just got a dial down here. There's also descent control to the right-hand side as well. Brakes are very good. All-round discs with the front being vented. And old-school handbrake with hill hold assist. On average, you'll get 32.8 to the gallon. It's got 400 newton meters of torque, so you know it can tow. When it comes to suspension, well, it's a pickup. So it's got a raised ride height. It's not ungainly. It's very well planted, and you can have quite a bit of fun with it, especially with that torquey engine. Very comfortable. You could do many long journeys in it. And that suspension gives you more bounce than bump as well. It does. You get automatic projection headlamps, rain sensing wipers, and you've got a little fuel computer here. Well, hello then. Everybody. I was going to say, Joseph is now aboard of Lloyd Vehicle Consulting, and we're just going to have a bit of a discussion about how well the Muso seems to pull the Mercedes with the car trailer. Because the car trailer is going to be 700 kilos and then the car's 1.4 on top of that. We've all noticed that it has absolutely no problem pulling it. It doesn't unnecessarily drop gears or anything like that, does it, Joseph? It feels yeah. very well planted and it just pulls it with ease. I have towed before. How was that, did it? It, it massively affected the performance. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it felt like that the only thing was gonna break. Yeah. Um, this, you don't even notice it half the time. The, 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 the main problem you've got is with the, um, the fact that you can't just corner as, as you'd expect and also you're but you're you're probably longer than a um uh a seven ton um, lorry straight across speed because of the engine having so much torque i mean it's got 180 horsepower but um the torque figure is 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 pretty considerable so if you're asking yourself the question how easy is it to tow a car with the muso and the answer to that is easy. it's very easy indeed yeah, it copes with everything. We're still getting 27 to the gallon as well, whilst towing 1.4 tonnes worth of Mercedes and a trailer. And it's very smooth. It is, yeah. yeah. And it's not changing gear unnecessarily still, even with that excess weight. Yeah, it's remarkable. It's taking very much in stride. It is. And if I kick down, it'll still give me power to pull away. trims in the range, the Muso is literally a rhinoceros of a pickup and comes in the EX, the Rebel, the Saracen and the Rhino. Prices start at just under £27,000 with VAT. The model we have here is the Saracen and it comes with a 2.2 litre turbo diesel engine coupled to a six speed automatic gearbox. It also has three driving modes, economy, winter and power. It costs £33,831. Fitted as standard are alloy wheels, rain sensing wipers and a full sized spare wheel. Features on the Saracen include cruise control and heated and cooled front seats to name but a few. With power and versatility combined with style and comfort, this is a pickup and so much more.